What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. My name is John Huynh and welcome back to another slice of my life. Today we're going to be going over my third day of Southern California in August. So this is August 6th I believe and I just want to do a quick little rundown of what I'm going to be doing today before we get over to the actual vlog because of course I don't have a proper intro of the day. For some reason I didn't think to do an intro the day of of the plan that of the plans going over the plans of what's going to be happening but pretty much um i think it's sunday so sunday august 6th is when we went to torrance and if you guys don't know where that is it is a city that's on the coast pretty much as far south as you can from los angeles so torrance is notorious for japanese food there is tons and tons of delicious Japanese restaurants out in Torrance and you'll see in the vlog because we do hit up some of the heaviest hitters there in the area and it is just fantastic. I always have a great time going to Torrance. We don't go all the time just because it is really out of the way from anywhere if you want to try to go to LA proper. So yeah, so it's such a sweet treat to go to um, Torrance. Beautiful city, very nice scenic. Uh, places to go to parking isn't that bad um, yeah just really easy going so yeah it's I think it's pretty pretty underrated city I don't think a lot of people actually know about Torrance or if they do I don't think they usually go it's always going to San Diego somewhere in Orange County or Los Angeles or Palm Springs etc etc um, so yeah Torrance is definitely a city that deserves a lot of love I think a lot of locals who live in Southern California love Torrance it's a really good getaway really really nice city so yeah hope to educate and promote the city of Torrance more uh, especially the places that we we're gonna be going in this video and of course there's still so much more that we didn't even get a chance to hit up during this trip so always plenty of more stuff to check out but anyways let's go ahead and transition over to the vlog now as always I gotta start my morning with a cup of Aroma Ubi coffee Today we're on our way to Torrance. It is a city very south of Los Angeles and it is known for their amazing, amazing Japanese food. You guys have to check out Torrance if you're looking for Japanese food. Our first stop is going to be Miyabi Uni. It's been a couple of years since I've been here, but their seafood is amazing. Um, we're here specifically for their Toro, Tuna Toro, as well as their Kami Uni pasta today. So this right here is going to be their uni cream. It has sea urchin on top and a spaghetti with a creamy sauce. And here's a large order of the bluefin tuna sitting on a bed of rice with some uni and a tamagoyaki cut in half. Our next stop takes us to Carlos Jr. Tendenza Imperia. It is a shop that is run by a Peruvian chef who went to Japan to study the arts of tempura making. I love, love their tempura and it's just so simple yet delicious. The batter is super light and the dipping sauce with the radish is light but super flavorful and soaks in all that flavor. We're starting off with the kakiage tempura which is mixed squid and scallops. I also have some maitake mushroom as well as nori seaweed tempura and then of course we also have a set which comes with some shrimp. Next stop takes is Red Rock Express and we're here to get some of their American beef dong. This right here is going to be their American sliced beef dong and this is their cheapest option but we find that this is just as tasty as the expensive version of the proteins. Call that a pour Karen. <laughs> it's a drip man. <laughs> And we're back at Hasaya for some dessert. I love Hasaya. It gives such a low-key mom and pop shop vibe. And we always enjoy coming here to get their chestnut snowstorm. Think of it as like a McFlurry or a Dairy Queen snowstorm with ice cream and blended stuffs inside. So this is going to be their black sesame version. And this is our personal favorite. And it kind of reminds me of peanut butter. We're back at Fatto Mano, the pasta shop. Last time I didn't get to try it, but here we are today. Check out this Italian pasta shop with al dente fresh pasta. You can either buy them to go and make them at home or you can eat it here. And I love their small menu and their friendly family vibe setting in here. Hey. Uh, 
And here's the man of the hour, the owner, Marco. He is the life and soul of this place run by him and his wife, and I just love his energy. And today we're trying their new pasta, which is the Pacheri, which is a large tube shape originating from Campania, and this comes with their pesto sauce that we chose. And to kill some time before our nightcap, we snuck into Sweet Wheat to check out some potential dessert options and upon walking here we were jaw dropped by the presentation just look at how beautiful everything looks everything looks so delicious and we just wanted to pick and choose everything but of course with our stomach capacity of course our budget we only picked a couple of things but my god just look at everything isn't everything like a piece of art in here We went with a mushroom ham and cheese tartine, a loaf of brioche bread, and a Lorraine quiche. Now that the savory stuff's out of the way, we went with the raspberry tartlet and a pear tart, and these were absolutely delicious. And now we're here on my nightcap at Ryla at Hermosa Beach. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, and this restaurant is beautiful. I love how dark and intimate it is in here but having the natural sunlight come through and the decor is phenomenal and then here's their menu for once i feel like the menu is a bit too small and limited but hey um let's see if the food speaks for themselves this is gonna be their well fleet oyster and I swear to god whatever this sauce is it's like having tom ka soup with your oysters amazing and here we have their Hokkaido milk bread with a Tobiko nori dip and it's kind of like a mayonnaise uh, dip going on and it's really good here we have the white sesame Caesar salad. I'm not a salad person, but man, was this good. It has some anchovies in there, as well as some sourdough croutons, which was absolutely delicious. Up next, we have the Nashville hot spicy chicken karage that has charred scallion mayo, and the sauce was really good. And last up for tonight, we have the Korean style spare ribs. I think this was nothing special. I thought it would be a lot better, but yeah, I would totally skip out on this, but everything else was absolutely delicious. All right, with dinner out of the way, it is time to head back to the hotel, and if you've been down the street enough, then you notice that it's pretty close to Disneyland, and I'm meeting up with Robert and Jasmine tonight, and I'm picking up some Raisin Cane's for their dinner tonight. And look who finally showed up. Time to check into the hotel room, which I've been staying here for a night already, but they just got here from Head in the Clouds. Look, that's my bestie. She stole my vans. They look lost. I don't know what's going on. He's losing control of his luggage. You look lost. Alrighty everybody, so that's gonna be pretty much the recap of day three of my Southern California trip back home. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got to experience a little bit of torrents more than usual. Definitely something that I don't go to enough. I wish there was more time for me to go. I love going to Torrance, especially some of the places that I love to go to. Hisaya, the chestnut snowstorm there, amazing, really good for dessert on a hot day. Nice ice cream to cool your body down. And of course, going to Red Rock and getting that thinly sliced American um, beef don. Always fantastic. I don't know what they put in that yogurt sauce, but it is, it is extremely addicting i love red rock i could probably eat there every week if i could um and of course miyabi uni their uh tuna toro is hands down the best i've ever had no fishiness it melts in your mouth literally you don't even have to chew that hard the rice that accompanies that dish really good and having that uni cream pasta spaghetti oh my god guys it is delicious that sauce is so strong it hits you right away um, and then I didn't record it but at the end of the meal there was some sauce left so we ordered some bread just so we can dip uh, the bread into the sauce and just finish cleaning it up so because it's that good 
Um, what else? What else? And then Carl's Jr. Oh my God. When it comes to fried food, I'm a sucker for fried food. And that's why I'm so overweight. Just because I love fried food. I can't seem to get away from it. And Carlos Jr. really extenuates that obsession of fried food. Um, and I love Carlos Jr. just because the batter is so light. It is fried to golden perfection, has a perfect crisp. You can still taste the texture or feel the texture of everything that it is covering. That sauce with the radish, it is, has a slight sweetness, but it is not over, over um, powering to the taste of the dish, uh, whether it's the mushrooms, the scallops, the shrimp, whatever it is. Um, it just works so well together. Carl Jr., amazing. And then to end the night off at Ryla, uh, a place that I've never been to before in Hermosa Beach. The walk was really nice. I wish we got a chance to stay and walk around at the beach. That would have been really fun. Um, but yeah, Ryla, first experience, really good. Everything hit out of the park, except for the Korean uh, ribs, uh, sweet ribs. Did not like that. It had a funky taste to it. But yeah, anyways, that's gonna be pretty much the wrap up of day three. I'm excited to show you guys day four and five. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.